the road is so bumpy. We're on the way to Kalgoorlie. You can't get lost. All you need to do is follow the pipeline. We've had a few traffic jams along the way already. Hey guys, it's Laura here. I'm with Matt. We have actually come all the way out to Kalgoorlie. Because we've been here before, we haven't done exactly the same things as we did last time. So we've come out to see a few other little bits and pieces. And this is what we've got up to. All right, good morning guys. So we've left Kalgoorlie and we've actually driven probably about an hour out of town and we've come to Lake Bollard. And the reason why we're here is we've come out to see Menzies, which is probably, I'm pretty sure it's like the world's biggest art piece. You can see Matt and Michael walking. Michael's one of our mates, we're actually staying with him. And then I'm not sure if you can see, it looks like there's lots of other little people around. But no, there's no one else around. It's just us and a lot of flies. <laughs> it's statues. Now, depending on the time of the day, when the shadows go across, the statues can look really large, they can look really small. Um, apparently they're really good to see from the air. But let's go check it out. There are 51 statues at Lake Bollard and it stretches out for over 10 kilometers but it can take you up to seven hours to walk around if you really want to see them all. So, we actually just saw the closest too. This looks like a big hill to climb, but if Matt can do it, I can too. Nice one, Matt. We had to stop for a drink at the Broad Arrow Tavern. <laughs> I don't think there's a single spot at this pub that's not covered in graffiti. Even the light bulbs are written on. I'm stewing, I can bring a pen. Is there any space left? <laughs> we finished off our night in the town of Kabuli for a good old pub feed and we had to go for a cheeky dessert. So while we've been staying in Kalgoorlie, we've actually been staying at our friend Michael's place. He's not like a YouTube person, so I'm not really putting him on camera too much. So we're currently at Kalkara Bushland. I really hope I'm pronouncing that one correctly. And essentially this is like a rehabilitation area, and it's just a good excuse to take the dog for a walk. We're kind of at that mid-season when it comes to white flowers, but there's still a lot about, so I'm going to go have a look. So you can see where they've been replanting a lot of the gums. As I said, this area being a rehabilitation area, during the early mining, are they use a lot of the gum trees for wood resources um for like steam machinery or to warm yourself at night all that kind of stuff and a lot of the natural rainforest unfortunately was torn away so what they've been doing over the last couple of years is bringing it all back to life it's actually quite pretty she was having a good old conversation about these trees the other day this type of eucalyptus is known to be a good gold detector. Essentially what they're saying is the type of soil that these type of trees grow in the best is the same type of soil where gold is found. So I thought I better put this one in there because I have not mentioned it at all in my whole vlog. If anyone is watching this and they don't know anything about Kalgoorlie, Kalgoorlie is on the map because of gold. It's one of those towns, it's actually hilarious. There is so much money. What do we call it? Upper class bogans? Much money in this town, but we're all just bogans. <laughs> Do 
tree. So this tree is actually really, really good medicine. And if your kids ever get nits, tea tree all the way. <laughs> Highly flammable way. It's the same shape. It's <laughs> we ended up stopping by Hammond Park, which is a cute little oasis inside Kalgoorlie. And it was probably one of the coolest ways to be told to piss off <laughs> by an animal. We've come out for a little walk around this cute little park, and I see they've got a sculpture, like a representation of their books. Is that Burke? Bernstein Castle from Germany. Yeah, I love the kangaroo pool there. Bush techie. Have you ever played tour? This is the only place in WA where tour is actually legal. Ow. He's thinking about it. <laughs> Matt and I, we got a little bit going on here. Um, tail's 50 bucks and Matt's head's 50 bucks. I missed it, I forgot to record, but um, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing alright. <laughs> Manny, do you want to go the same one again? He's annoyed because he's lost $100. <laughs> Pineapples were hard enough for me because no way more than I was going to Yeah. <laughs> Well, as long as it doesn't derail right in front of us, then you should be right. Because, could you imagine? Do you want to ask him, like, did you have wet gloves? No. So, Matt and I, we've made our way out to the reservoir lookout, and this has all got to do with the pipeline. Remember that pipeline that I mentioned? So, that flows all the way from Mundaring through to Kalgoorlie, and all it is is it's pumping millions and millions of water to Kalgoorlie. So, they can feed the town and use them for mining. It may not seem like much, but it is like an engineering masterpiece. It actually takes one week for the water to get from Perth all the way here to Kalgoorlie. It's pretty crazy. That's a big pile of sand, eh? Hello. That's all the waste we have to remove. <laughs> oh, well, At least they reuse it. Yeah, they very cycle. And what do they reuse it for? Back through the holes up there. Oh, fair enough. Through the hole mine doesn't fill up underground. Make a hole, fill a hole, make another hole, fill a hole, basically. But to give keep ground stability, you have to refill those holes with dirt or concrete oh, or paste or shot creek or something. Okay, so we've come out to have a look at the super pit. Probably the world's biggest mine site, I'm pretty sure. They mine for gold. Now, you're standing from the top. All the little trucks look so tiny, but I'll give you an idea. I'm standing inside a bucket. <laughs> now check out the size of this thing. Matt's actually walking backwards. Keep going, keep going, keep going.
Like I'm having a read of the sign here. It says the super pit is one of the largest open pit gold mines in Australia in terms of size, producing around half a million ounces of gold each year. For every 1 million tons of ore extracted from the super pit, there's around 250 to 300 kilograms of gold. That's crazy. They go in empty and they come out full. Make it all the way to the top. Nah. For comparison, Matt is six foot four. Pretty bloody big. <laughs> Jeez. That's a lot of rocks that it can pick up, eh? Oh, I'll tell you what, this wind has really got to us. I hope you enjoyed our Kalgoorlie trip. If you ever do come to Kalgoorlie, I do recommend the things that we've done, plus the things that we did in our last video from many, many, many years ago. Coming out to check out the Super Pit is definitely an, a, something to see. It's quite impressive. And uh, being from Western Australia, like it's kind of good for us because we know it's something that really, really funds everything that we have. Tax pay dollars here.